most people, when they email me uh, about video stuff, it's because they don't like my uh, face, voice, or personality. But sometimes I get emails from people about my shirts. Ordinarily, it's like, you only have three, you should buy new shirts. Obviously, I have at least six, so that's stupid. I'm David Roth, the senior Oxford editor at Deadspin, and these are my shirts uh, that I have. All of these were purchased at the same Goodwill on the Upper East Side of Manhattan, except for this one, which was purchased on the internet. I would love to be able to walk you through the process of exactly why I chose each one. I probably won't be able to do that either, but I'm, this, that's what we're gonna do. This shirt here is not plaid. Uh, that's the first thing, of course, you notice about it. But, but it's a check shirt. It's comparatively heavy. Like a lot of these shirts, it's made by J. Crew, and I discovered some of those shirts fit me pretty well, and some of them fit me less well. It depends uh, how fat I am on a given day. Um, when I wear this shirt, I feel like a, like an employable person uh, dressing casually at work. So that's a, that's an empowering feeling for me. It took me about 38 years to feel that way about anything. This shirt was not purchased at Goodwill. This is the rare shirt that I paid um, the actual retail price for, made by a Canadian manufacturer. I bought it on the internet, and it's flannel, like most of the shirts that I wear for most of the year. Here we have a shirt that is basically the same as the blue one that I just showed you. All of it is made of fabric, and none of it is invisible. This is another shirt. <laughs> this one is, uh, is a, a plaid shirt. I like this one. One time uh, I wore it to a dinner, and I ate a lot, and one of the buttons popped open on my belly, and you could see my undershirt. And I noticed that uh, when I got on the train going home, and it's very humbling. Uh, the shirt and I have had I would say a difficult relationship, but a rewarding one. This shirt is the lightest weight fabric out of any of them, and was a shirt that I liked a lot, even though I think it's a little kind of like preppy boat man for my personal aesthetic. However, uh, it has fallen out of the rotation in recent years because there's a, a famous, infamous photo of Donald Trump Jr. sitting on a stump, kind of looking pensive, but like also kind of looking like Butthead from Beavis and Butthead. And he's wearing this shirt, but just knowing that we got the same shirt uh, has made me less inclined to wear this shirt. This probably isn't the last time you'll see it, but Don Jr., man, screwing it up for me. This is the most recent purchase of uh, any of the shirts that I have here with me today. This is made by, a, I guess, a fancier designer in the sense that the jeans that this company makes are too expensive for me to buy, and that was exciting. One problem that you have uh, with shirts like this, you'll notice that I tend to roll the sleeves up, is when you buy things at Goodwill, sometimes the sleeves are not long enough, and you just have to be willing to accept uh, that imperfection because you are paying $7. So that's that's my shopping tip to you, is to, to buy things that don't fit you <laughs> and, you know, work around it as needed. Some people ask me, how many plaids is too many plaids? For me, it's the sort of thing you know uh, when you feel it. There's a feeling that you get when you know you need a new one. Just being able to, to give something back through my video work to the, the shirted community is a really big part of why I do this. 